morning everybody uh pam here with your monday morning motivation i'm just pulling over on the side of the road so i can do this safely um i'm on my way to an appointment in town and i didn't get out of the house until a little bit later than i anticipated but um i'm here and that's what matters right to provide value for you my awesome awesome followers so I'm gonna try and make this as quick as I can. I'm tr gonna try not to make it like a 20 some minute video. I'm gonna turn off my windshield wiper so it's not distracting me, okay. Good morning, Patty. Thanks for tuning in live, girl. I'm super excited for this one. Um, 10 effective ways to make time for your side gig. I've got my notes here. I brought everything so I was prepared to do this on the road. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here just like uh, I am every Monday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So make sure you um, make a, a what is it? Follow me. Make my notifications a priority, or see them first, or something like that. I can't remember. You'd have to go on my page and see how it goes. But so 10 effective ways to make time for your side gig. So creating a detailed calendar. I know I use Google Calendar. For my for all of my appointments for all of the other stuff that I do I use Google Calendar and I've kind of a I've allotted myself my time to like work on my business work on my side hustle I am a mom full-time so I and I don't get a lot on my business done during the day during the days creating content being with my kids you know, sometimes I'll sit at the computer for a few minutes, but every time I sit at my computer when my two, almost two year old is awake, she'll like, I want up, I want up, I want to see what you're doing. And then she's just like tapping on the computer and everything and it's not effective. So create that time where you know that you can have the space to be creative, to do what you need to do in your side hustle, your side gig, whatever you want to call it. Include deadlines. So uh, I've been, <laughs> I've had this, ad that I wanted to post on Facebook here the last the last little while um, I don't like to post ads on weekends because usually the reach is down so I like to start an ad on a Monday just so that I can pick up an algorithm before I go into a weekend <clears throat> and this weekend being a long weekend for us here in Canada I'm not sure if it is in the US or not but it's Canada Day on in a week on Monday and I, I want to get it going but I'm having a hard time with my ads manager right now it doesn't want to customize my messaging so like when somebody clicks message me or something on my ad it doesn't want to go to my customized stuff so I'm working on that right now I might have to bug Facebook a little bit more about that so I can get it done but I wanted to make a deadline of today tonight before I go to bed to have it done I was working on it this morning and it still wasn't working so anyway include deadlines in all of your tasks so make sure that's in your calendar learn to say no this one's probably been the hardest thing for me specifically because I had a, a huge volunteer position in our local nonprofit and in the last year I've had to say no a lot and I've had to pull away a lot I still do a lot um, with our nonprofit I uh, in our community I do a lot in our community still but I just I found that I need to make time for this for my business so that's why I have pulled away from doing a lot of the volunteering I my volunteer position was pretty much a full-time job so and you know that's it's not it's not even eventually gonna make me money like this one is so I'm just like hey guys I need to make time for me for my family and for my my new business so <clears throat> I've learned to say no a lot lately uh, choose a day to focus on your side gig whether it's you know a day that you have off or <clears throat> if you can make a day off or like a day before and after your work choose a day and just like to put your phone away turn it on new do not disturb try and eliminate as many distractions as you can I know in our house the TV's on pretty much constantly and I've started turning it off like if nobody's watching it it's off it just it's it just bugs me it's just like constantly in my ear when I could be doing other things you know I could be doing more effective things for my business right <clears throat> Number four, work in small sprints. So if you don't have hours, you know, a few hours here, a few hours there to work on your business, maybe you need to make like 15, 20 minute 
like little increments, like blocks of time to work on your business, like your lunch hour, or if you have a break in the middle of the day, or, <clears throat> hey Natasha, thanks for popping on, um, or even before, after work, just make sure you just like power through like those 15, 20 minute blocks of time and just power through and work, 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 and then you know what, then you can go take a break. So that's kind of what I do sometimes when my kids are up. <clears throat> they'll let me work for 10, 15 minutes at a time. <laughs> so when they get older, I know it'll be easier, but for now I like spending time with my little ones. So that is just the way it is. Uh, number, whoops, number five, make it your hobby. I used to ride my horse a lot more than I do now. Um, I know when with small kids, it's hard to allot that time for myself, but there are other things I used to do, like little things that I used to do as hobbies. And now instead of doing those things, I do things that are related to my business. They're income producing activities. I'm journaling, I'm um, creating my schedule, I'm meditating, I'm reading my books, I'm listening to a podcast, I'm working on my business, I'm writing copy, I'm writing scripts, I'm doing those things that uh, are solely focused on my business. <clears throat> So, um, I do go outside to do chores. So I do have a little bit of horsey time there. I don't ride, but I just hang out with my horse sometimes. Um, number six, work on the weekends. So guess what? Your weekends, if you got a side gig, a side hustle, your weekends are not for partying anymore. They're not for river floating anymore. Like sure. And that's fun once in a while, like create some content and use it to create content. Use it to to be like, hey, I love this life and this is what I love to do. And if you can relate, then great. So make videos, make take pictures if you're gonna do that stuff. But other than that, it's work time, baby. Like weekends are not your own anymore. To me, every day is a weekend. Every day I work. So that's just the way it is. Um, number seven, wake up early or stay up late. I do both of these things quite a bit. I stay up late because that's when my kids are sleeping. I get up early because that's when my kids are sleeping. I get up early to do my workouts because that's usually the best time that I can fit one in. And sometimes if I do a workout, I don't have time to work on my business. So then I'll stay up late. I'll do trainings. I'll work on my ads. I'll do something. But I'm always focusing on my business when my kids, especially when my kids are sleeping. That is my focus. Um, partner up. So this one's a big one. You can find somebody that can help you, um, in like your weaknesses. So delegating your tasks in which you f f think that you are not strong in, uh, maybe get somebody else to help you with editing your videos or, um, editing your copy. So like you write out a copy for an ad and, you're like, I don't know if it's any good because you know, what if you're just starting out or what if you're trying a new method? Um, in our in our copywriting 101 uh, course that we have in our new educational platform, he goes through this exercise where you can create your ideal customer. So what if you're just trying that out? What if you're just uh, you know trying something new out and be like, hey, can you can you read this over? See if it it works. See if it flows. You know things like that. Um, there's always like in our community, I know for sure, there's always somebody out there that's willing to help out another person always. And that's what I absolutely love about it. Um, and the last one, honestly, it's about making the time. If this, if financial freedom, if time freedom, if freedom is what you're looking for, you will make the time for your side hustle, your side gig. So it can be your full time thing. And then you won't have to work for somebody else, working for somebody else, um, for somebody else's time, trading your time for their money. That's not ideal. So anyway, I'm glad I can make it fairly quick today, but those are the ways um, you can make time for your side gig or your side hustle. I know that I've uh, had to do a lot of those things and I kind of came up with those on the fly. I did read a little bit of an article and I got a couple ideas from them, but most of those are from me. So that's all value from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will be here again next week, same time, 10 a.m. Mount Standard Time, same page, Pamri B. Make sure you follow and like and follow my page so that you can check out my 
future Monday morning motivation. Um, I also have a YouTube channel. I think you can go on my page and like look up my YouTube channel. To YouTube channel, I've created a playlist. So I've taken them from my Facebook page, put them onto YouTube, and I've created a playlist of all my Monday morning motivation, even from my last page when I started doing these. So you can definitely look those up because that other page is getting deleted soon. So definitely look up that, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got my first subscriber this morning, so I was like so excited. I'm like, oh my goodness, a YouTube subscriber. <laughs> I also have a few tutorials on Adobe Premiere Pro and how to use InShot to edit videos. Um, they're kind of not great, but uh, they work for now. So a few people have used them and they said they, were, they work pretty good. So. Thank you so much, Patty and Natasha, for popping on live. I love and appreciate you all. If you're watching the replay, type in replay and uh, tell me what you got, what what the what the best tip you think was from this, from this uh, ten ways to make time for your side gig. Um, oh, hey Jesse, I'm just popping off. Catch the replay. <laughs> Talk to you guys next week. Bye.